Cheers, mate. I'll tell you what, we are going. Mouth Fresh Super Boats. Mouth Fresh, of course, the best toothpaste in the world. So here we go. Super boat, strap it in. Hang on to your kids. These boats will fly. Listen to this pro charger. Supercharger underneath, just bottled down the bottom of the chassis, running off a big belt, and he's winding the wick up. A little bit of a dance there along their back. A little bit knifey. Yep. Right? Dave, of course, sharing his boat today with uh, with his partner, Pip Thompson. John Very sitting in beside Dave in the silly seat, waving his hand. Great split mates, these two. 21.864. Great split. Best split we've seen out of these guys all day. A little bit ginger through the cutting. Oh, nice and wide here. Let's see what he can get out of this. Oh, he seems to lose the just lose the boost as he comes a little around. bit. Yep. Yeah. Every time I've seen him today, he's uh, as he comes around mouth fresh, he's losing too much boost out of there and it's costing him. But he hooks up. Throwing down at 47.210. Wow. Yeah, they're happy. There's the old high five, bit of a tag inside yeah. the old roll cage here. A little so bit. This is the fastest time of the day. So Yeah, well, they're coming down and a bit of a tap going on. So good to see from those boys. And obviously, uh, they're happy with what they're going. Yeah. A couple of roll-offs, a bit of a Defin heavy turn at that around that speed bowl there. So there's definitely time to be had. Kevy, the heavy Roberts, Stinger Boats, Twin Turbo Nissan, his daughter Claire sitting in beside him. Robert's contracting from Foxton, the Foxton Flyer we call it, and Kevy has been the big improver all day today. Another bit of rain coming back here too, yeah. I feel like there's a bit of yeah. a spot coming in. Of course Kevin loading his boat today to Rob Coley, um, which is so, so patriotic of him to, uh, to do that. And, yeah. uh, you know, it saves Rob's whole can, championship uh, really. You can see a red light on the dash there, so... Hopefully that's nothing. Oh, okay, yeah. Actually, I think he runs that, Sam. I think I drove that boat once, and I'm pretty sure he runs it. And normally, you have the red light come on when you've got a problem. You did right, but um, I think, oh, that was ugly. But he gets away with it. There was a short, fair bit of dancing going on as he yeah. comes through the cutting. Yeah, oh, he might have overcooked that one too, but he's... He got out of jail. Couple of touch-ups by Kevy. Boosting it, boosting it home with a... 48.107. Pretty sure that was his best run of the day. Previously, I think he yep, was a 49, 49 club. Yep. That's right. That's not an organ you can hear. That's the mouth organ. Greg Morgan. <laughs> Plas the wee diddy, mate. Let's go. <laughs> that is Magnum's supercharged little Rodec block. Matt Craft, our local Aucklander, Greg Morgan. He's been going great guns all day, actually, old Greg. I've He's just setting PB after PB. Well, normally Sunday's the best day on the organ, but I tell you what, Saturday appears to be it. Yep. He surprised us with that split time. The way he's aggressive. He's obviously uh, built a little bit of confidence because he's charged around. Beautiful. Nicely there. Let's have a look at the split. Roll oh. around 40. It's nice. Load it up. Considering this is an old hull. I tell you what, he's not scared of it. He's no. really pedaling around. This is great to see. This is the one. He's going through there a bit harder than Dave, Dave and John there. Yeah. He missed the split. I was that excited the way he was going. <laughs> split was a 21.71. There you go. So he's in the 21 club. Great to see Greg Morgan finally having a great run out of this boat and yeah, getting looking finish. like he's driving it, which is great to see. Yeah, Chris is with a 46.995, so I might have to take a photo of that. He's sitting in P1. Oh, mate, I tell he's you what. He's with that. Yeah, no, he will struggle to get out of the old behind the steering wheel I'm picking. He'll be pretty happy with himself. So uh, it's just going to keep on going. Greg Morgan, right righto, top nine running order for Group A. I've got it hot off the press. Ray Ferg, this is from last to last. He makes it. Harry Whelan's hot dog, Harry Whelan's. Carl Bresnell, Sean Rice, Rick Burke, Neil Big Deal Marshall, Ross Travers, Cy Gibbon, Ollie Silverton. Well, the big news there is uh, Andy Ryan. Yeah. Yeah, well, the lower hut man didn't get in there. Andy Ryan hasn't made it. His old mate Ray Ferg and Harry Whelan's on there. So. And the trend continues with the Group A. There's just yep. a sniff between oh. the top eight, top, eight, hard top nine. Harder to pick in a broken nose, this Group A. I tell you, it just keeps on coming. Righto. Looks like Baden Gray might have snuffed out there sitting, uh, he's about next cab off the rank and of course uh, 
Or maybe he's got no reverse, not too sure what's going on no, there. What's going on? They're holding Greg no. back. I think he's dead in the water. Yeah, I think he might have to yep. go back on. They'll have to restart him from the uh, from the hull. And that lovely sound, you can hear that caged anim animal there just idling. That it was goes, goes to show how big Chewy is. Isn't he? That, that pool is quite deep and he's only waist deep. Oh, no, he's down there. He's, he's found the old, the hole from the old jet wash. But that pool is very deep. Just, um, you can hear that boat are running at the moment, which is Greg Morgan's. Uh, those uh, those supercharged boats they're idling away, they can use up to 30 litres of methanol in one minute. So basically... He will be chewing the best part of 30, 31 litres as he's gone out there and done a little dance for you around the track. So uh, they will pump enough water to empty a swimming pool, a 30,000 litre swimming pool at the same time. So interesting numbers. Might find it interesting, you might not, but uh, you're certainly great firefighting appliance if you needed one in a hurry. Definitely. Or if you want your pool drain, give, give us, us a, a call. Yeah. <laughs> Greg won't just bring the organ, he'll yeah. bring his boat. Yep. Righto. Play a wee tune while he's draining your pool. We'll give you a wee tune. Speaking of tunes, while we're waiting for the next boat, they'll refire Baden up. We'll be back. How are we going, man? Good. Chipping out. Don't worry about the rain. <laughs> came in from the wind just died and then it came out. Yeah. Well, the wind was there. It was getting right. No, I went, I went and covered up the speakers. That when we stopped the rain instantly. Why are you going to take it off? It sounds like going to take it off. What's the, um, we don't do a nine, is it equal split points? Yeah, that's right. yeah. so what we're doing is no, straight into a nine. Yeah. 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 What are we doing? Yeah. 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 I'm sitting here, fuck's sake. Okey Richard Murray, Mina Machine. We are back on track. Julia's rubbing her hands. This is it. 
Richard's last chance to dance. Previous times, he was being absolutely quick as, as he lights the wick of the big forward. 46.938. 46, you've heard it from Sam's st st statistics man. The statistician. <laughs> As he winds her up, 440 cubic inch forward, supercharged. And he will leave nothing undone as he chucks her in. Split time we're hunting. Oh, oh a little bit untidy with 21.220. Just got caught up on the old tidy righty as he rips it through the middle of the course now. Three baldy. giving it the wally now. Doing a nice job. It's just one corner that I've seen he's been down on. I think she's going to look like another 46 The rain, the rain is falling, so he's going to be getting a little bit of rain in the old mist. Oh, he gets a 45, 9. I'll tell you what, he's happy with that. Yep, best time. And like you said, Sam, we have got rain falling. Things are starting to get interesting down here. It is all starting to harden up down here. He's looking over, he's got his 45, he's on the board with Miss Ford, and that's exactly what he's got on there. A Ford 440 cubic inch, supercharged Donovan. The Mina Machina, another 31 litres goes out the door, but you don't mind washing 31 litres away when you pull a second better than what you've previously done. Next up, Aaron Hansen, in the former Mad Dog Coley machine. Mouth fresh. He's got the, the, the fluoro mouth fresh yeah. on the side of that. So, um, Jazz, jazzed it up a little bit. He was. Aaron almost overdriving it last time. He, uh, he got yeah. the speed. Um, he certainly had the speed on it, but just had the rotational wheel. Here we go. The big block. 705 cubes. Oh, a little bit flat there. Yep. Messed up that one. Don't know what happened there. Just a little bit of a roll off. Just to get past that little kick. Could be the water, could be a bit of rain, not too yep. sure, but certainly not uh, what we used to see from Aaron. He just, a couple of, couple of spots as he's come out, he's rolled off. He's been a little bit flat turning it. Well down at the split with a 23, 4, 5, 7. So good two and a half seconds away from where the other boys have been. I suppose at this stage, late in the, the innings, he just needs to get a run on the board. Yeah, it's still, still qualifying. Ball five, so he's done more than enough just to get through. Two corners to go. Time blowing out a little bit for Aaron here. He'll uh, beat the 50 second mark. And he does with a 49.182. Yeah, I'd, um, how was he looking earlier on in the day? So it's probably still pretty. Uh, I don't yeah, he'd think, be, well, he'd be happy with it. Not going to be enough, to, I don't think, to get him through, but yep. we'll see. There's quite a lot. The, the last run was a 62, so he sort of had a bit of a blowout. Yep. Navigational area, probably. Certainly a bit untidy on a couple of corners. I see them still down there uh, battling with Baden Gray's machine. No sign of that coming. It could be uh, Sir Rob the Third, Mad Dog Coley, um, could be the next cab. It is, it is indeed. So here comes Rob Coley, borrowed boat. Kevin Roberts from Stinger has helped Rob out to keep his championship alive. And of course, Rob has, uh, he's actually starting to look quite tidy in this he boat. Is. So. He is. Complete he different hold on what he's used to. It's a different beast to handle. Uh, obviously, the Stinger and Spintex handled a lot differently. Um, as we noticed in his last run, that um, it was smoking a fair bit and, and it was uh, spewing a fair bit of oil out the breather. So it was just throwing it everywhere. So that's where the smoke was coming from. Just saw a little puff then when he took off. So this will be Rob will like to try and get on a little bit more gas on the pedal just to try and get himself up to speed for the finals. Looking good so far. This is more looking like Rob. Beautifully out of there, and like Harry kept it lit up, kept the old turbo spooled up. Rips into Baldy. The split needs to be a nice little tidy split. It's a late 21 with a 21 918. Near enough, he's there, he's there somewhere about. Probably well off the gas again through Baldy. I know he's a bit scared through there, but at the end of the day, it's not his boat. I don't blame him. No, that's right. That's what he said. He doesn't want to bend it. He's done that enough with his own boats. Absolutely. Sometimes you bend it, you mend it. Yep. Other times you own it. Here she comes, round for the finish. 47, that's his best time of the day, so that might sneak him just up the ladder a little. We might need those 47s, not quite in front of Dave Simmons, but uh, that will help him. He needs to do a little bit more than that. He's uh, That should hopefully just get him into that uh, top nine. Yeah. How do you reckon we are there, Stats? Yeah, no, it's, it's definitely better. 
It's definitely better. He's a little bit, uh, just a touch slower on his last run. His last run was a 40, low 47. So. Okay, just for all you people out there, we go from 15 boats to nine after this qualifier. So what they've got to do in that Rob Boringham boat is got to keep coming down. Currently, he's uh, running at second on the ladder. Here comes Pip and Poppy. Pip Thompson driving her hubby Dave's machine today. Not in her own boat, so again, another team sharing a boat. It's a really, really hard thing to do. She's done well. She did a sub-50 before, so best run of the day. Yep. You see the team down in the pits, the old Flounder Pounder and the Blue Flame. Um, obviously no bitches box no. boat down there. Yeah. So uh, double driving the old Blue Flame and, and the Flounder Pounder. We went down and I uh, took my nephew down there to get some posters and tattoos off them. And, and uh, they're just they're just stoked to see all the kids and uh, and all the support. So awesome. They love the sport. They do. They're, they're, they're wonderful for the sport. A full family turnout when you've got uh, three boats racing. It's a massive job and you guys know that. So. Yep. That, oh, not quite. I was going to say she's done it again, but not her best run of the day, but right on the 50.79. So there enough or near enough. So we'll see. That could be Pip and Poppy's last chance to dance. Bars Bugs, the mighty green machine. The helmets look the part. The boat looks the part. Blake Smart Bryant. looking package, isn't it? It is. It looks really, really good. Right down to the overalls. These guys are totally professional. Looking to up their game. Been chipping away at it all day, and I'd love to see them back up there on the podium. Yep. It'd be great for the sport. So this is it. Blake, the quiet achiever. He will chip away. They will be doing little bits of tweaking. They'll be talking about millimetre here and half a coke yep. can there. Looking. Beautiful. Look at drive this thing like he did his group, eh? Yeah, that's exactly what he's done. That is a lovely, lovely start. This looks really good. Pulled out of a little bit going into Baldy, but why not? He had so much boat speed. Split is a cracker. 21 nilly flat, 0.01. One of the best splits we've seen. Lovely through. Lovely line through the cutting. This is going to be Blake and Kate's best run today. Nicely again. He's Looking nailing. Finish. Yeah, a little bit of a bog down there, but... He knows when to bring the best out, and this could be it. This is certainly hooking up and looking like the Kate and Blake we know. Oh, he does with a 44.954. Oh, give him a round, Straight guys. To the top of the table. 44.94, and look at fist Kate. Pump. They are fist pumping. That we are back. They are very, very happy. That was a great, great run from the Bars Bucks team all the way from Gizzy. Good to see you back, guys. Well. That was some great cornering, mate. I tell you what, that um, that really looked like it was going to be quick. Speaking of quick, here comes Pistol Pete. He's been missing in action for a couple of runs. Uh, conked out, done a push rod, had a still a pretty 44 on the board. Yep. I believe he did he earlier. Changed so. a uh, changed an ignition box and all sorts. Yeah, so uh, there so you go. Barry Atling all day. She's, so. she's been a box of chocolates down there for the NZ camp, and we know NZ are big and mighty up there on the hill. There's plenty of them there backing him. So. Pistol Pete's out. Let's see. Thank you. I think he'll play this quite intelligently. He knows the championship's on the line. He can't afford to choke it yet. Absolutely. He knows Rob's in a borough boat, the only yep. nearest man to him. There's no point in trying to be the old uh, winner now. So just get through. Throw down a competitive time. Get the boat settled. Looking really good in the water. Look at that split. 20.262. 20 well good. No, he's a good second, nearly 0.8 of a second on Blake at this stage. So yep. very ginger through the cutting, though. This is where Blake and Kate came home strong. They did a very tidy job at the finish. Oh, well out of the gas there. Yep. Well out oh, of the gas. Right off, all the way through there. Oh, I think this could be a 45. Well, I'd say he's going to launch into it here, as he does. Finishes strong with a 44.121. Wow, there you go. Eh? So even pulling out of the gas and having that, he just seems to come home so strong, yep. doesn't he? So... 244s, it's tightening up. We haven't seen Nick Berryman uh, yet. I, I don't know what's happened there, but I, I haven't seen Nick Berryman arrive for his uh, his run out there. Okay, so there you go. Um, so he's not coming out for this run. He's trying to. He's not finished for the day. He's actually trying to uh, obviously work on the boat and try and find a bit more. Doesn't want to show too much up and save it for a run. So Nick Berryman will will back himself obviously to make the top nine.